Hey guys, this is Pete from GGN again. Sitting out in my yard. Uh, finally got the pool open, and I want to do a quick video about uh, a product that I use out here a lot during the summer and really has come in handy for me. Um, I have a wireless network, but a lot of times I'm out by the pool in the yard or whatever, and the signal isn't that great. So I figured I'd come out here, I'd do a quick demo and uh, try and beat the rain. It's gonna rain today, but uh, you know, maybe I could show you, I could show this to you guys and uh, let you know how good it is. Now, I know people have tried power line networking in the past and it hasn't worked out too well. Uh, I think, you know, it, there's a lot of factors. The, the original generations of it wasn't that great. I've used them, they were okay. Um, they've gotten better with time. Uh, this one from Linksys is, uh, the PKL 300 and I've had it for a while that's why the box looks a little beat up um, it works great it has a four it has a four port adapter on one side and let me show you what it looks like I already have it unboxed out obviously it's like I said I've had it for a while and I use it so let me put that off to the side and excuse the yard I just got the pool opened up I haven't got a chance to power wash the cement or anything else so uh, Still, uh, still getting to it, but I figured I'd take a take a break and uh, show you guys this. Here's the two adapters that come with it. Uh -huh. This one hooks up to your router. If you look, it's got one port on the back, and you just plug it into a power outlet anywhere. My adapt, my router happens to be in my basement, so what I'll do is I'll take this down by the router. I'll plug in a cable, Ethernet cable there, and just plug it into an outlet. And what that basically does is it lights up your electrical lines in your house and they become network cables so once I do that I'll get a I'll get a home the home button will light up and the power button will light up and I'll know it's connected and then I can go to any other outlet anywhere in my house maybe outside inside wherever that's me in the background what's going on guys I wore this hat just for you Doug um, and I connect it and I have four ports four live ports. Now I have a, uh, a sling catcher and it works out quite well with it. I can come out here, I can have my computer hooked up. Even though I do have wireless, I don't get the throughput to where I could launch sling player on the computer and surf the web or watch YouTube videos. But with this, I find I get plenty of throughput. I can have the sling catcher hooked up to an external monitor. I can uh, also be watching YouTube videos on the computer or whatever else I want to do, surf the web, and it works out really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this off right here. I'm going to hook the other end up to the router. And then I'm going to come back. And I'm going to plug this in and I'm going to do a speed test. I'm going to show you guys uh, what kind of speed you get through it. Alright? Thanks. Okay guys, I'm back. And what I did was I went inside and I hooked the, the one adapter up to the router. And I plugged it into an outlet that I have by my router. And I have the other one here. So what I'm going to do is I have an extension cord run under the table out here. That, like I said, I use for the sling catcher and for a monitor and for my laptop when I have it out here. I'm just going to take the power cord, plug it into there. As you can see, now all of a sudden, I, ho I hope you guys can see that. The I don't know how the lighting is going to be. It's the first video I've shot outside. So I have a power light and I have the home light. So it lets me know it's connected. It sees the other adapter. And I'm going to take an Ethernet cable, plug it into any one of these jacks. All four of these jacks are now lit up. So I can connect four devices. I can even connect another hub to this. I did have a bunch of guys over for a, uh, for a Xbox 360 LAN party last year. And I used this. And it was great. It, I connected a hub up to it. A 16 point, a 60 port switch I should say. And I didn't have a problem. So I plugged that in there. Let me take the other end. I have my uh, MacBook Pro here. I'm going to plug it in the side of there. Let me open this up, please. For those that don't know, I'm, uh, I have a golden retriever. That's him on the screen, actually. Yeah. His name's Kona. You'll see pictures. If I do videos, you'll see pictures of him all over the place. Um, I'm going to launch speedtest.net and let's see what kind of throughput we get. This is all running off the power line adapter. And I have the screen cropped a little just because of my IP address. So I'm going to take a New York speed test site. 
a New York server. We'll see what we get. The ping was 34. I'm getting 22.77 down. And 21.01 up. Now that's a little, that is less than my 3525 service that I have from Fios. I have Fios coming into the house at 3525 and it is a little less, but still more than acceptable. I'll, in fact, let me launch a sling player down here and we'll get that going. And while that's running, I'll do another speed test. So I think they're doing a replay from a, from a Mets game showing a uh, that's not the video choppy they're showing a slow motion replay so let's let that synchronize for a second and uh, we come back up here and we'll run another speed test this time the ping was 30 and I'm getting even better speed even though sling play is streaming in the background it's not holding me up so we got a download speed of 24.24 and an upload speed of 20.29 with a ping of 30. I'll run another one and I'll just let you see. You can see how the data transfer like every other any other switch or router is going to flash. You'll see the number 3 flash in there. I hope you guys can see that. I can't tell on the camera if you can or not, but when I'm putting it together I will. So, speed's still around the same. And you can see the activity lights flashing on it. So. This is great. Like I said, I know other people have had issues, but this has been great for me. I've had this set for about a year, and I use it flawlessly. I have the sling catcher out here with a um, with a with a monitor. I have an Acer monitor that's got an HDMI in, so I just run one to the other, and then I can also have my laptop out here or whatever else I want to do. And it seems to work out pretty good. Again, guys, this is Pete. If you want to follow me on Twitter, my Twitter name is Pete underscore NYC subscribe to my channel um, also again I want to just remind you guys that I'll be at E3 this year and I'll hopefully posting videos to uh, DizzyDougTV.com so uh, go check out Doug's site and uh, hopefully we can get some great stuff for you from E3 again guys thanks a lot for watching have a good one